in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a rigid body animation which makes a car hit some cubes. Let's start by deleting all of the objects on the scene. So A, select all and then delete. Now let's add a cube for our ramp. So shift A, mesh and cube. Let's name this ramp. Now the Z shift control, snap this to the grid. Also, let's scale this in the y-axis. Now we want to go to edit mode to edit this mesh. So tab to go to edit mode. Now, control R and then make a loop cut. Now, click on Alt Z, make it see-through and then click on these two vertices and then GZ, move this down. Now let's tap out and get out of Alt Z. So click on Alt Z again. Now let's go to the modify properties, click on add modifier, and then click on the bevel modifier. This will make the sharp edges a lot smoother. So let's increase the amount and then increase the segment segments as well. Now, let's go to the physics properties and then add rigid body. Set the type to passive. Let's add a plane, so shift A, mesh, and then click on plane. Let's scale this up, so click S. Now, click on rigid body as well. And then set the type to passive. Now let's name this floor. Now let's make the car. So shift A, mesh, and then cube. Scale this cube down. And then GZ, move it up. Let's also modify this car. So let's go to tab for edit mode, and then control R. And then scroll your mouse wheel up one time to make two loop cuts. Click on this face and E to extrude on the Z axis. Now click to go to select mode and then click on this edge B Y. Now make another loop cut. Then select on that edge and beat Z. Let's add the modifier to this as well. So let's select this ramp and then Control L link modifiers. Now let's name this car. Now let's go to the rigid body and then set the type to active and the mass to 100 kilograms. Now let's just move this in the G axis and then GZ. Now if we play the animation, we might see that nothing happens. So let's move it in this G Y axis more. Increase the friction for this. So go to surface response 
and then reduce the friction. And now if you play the animation, it's much, much more faster. So now let's create wheels. So shift A, mesh, and then cylinder. Let's rotate the cylinder in the Y axis 90 degrees. And scale it. Z to move it up and then scale X scale in the X axis now let's move this into the car so go to the Z axis view and then G then G Y now let's add the rigid body to this as well so click on rigid body set the type to active and the mass to 10 kilograms now let's put the shape as cylinder Now let's create an empty for this tire. So shift A, D, then single arrow. B to move it, and then place it right on the tire. The rigid body constraint this empty and then set the type to generic. Now go to limits and then click on the X axis, Y axis and Z axis and set them all to zero. Now go to the angular limits and then set the Y angle and Z angle and then put them also to zero. Now if you play the animation, this will happen. So let's go to the tire, go to the car and then copy the friction. Let's paste the friction onto the tire. So let's name this tire. Let's, let's connect the tire to the car. So click on first object and make it the object car. And click on the second object and make it the tire. Now if you play the animation, this will happen. It's going nicely, but there's a problem rotating so let's just duplicate this but before we do that we have to put the bevel onto the tire so click on the ramp and then control L copy modifiers now the tire has bevel so let's quickly shade smooth it now let's duplicate so let's go to the z-axis view and then click on the empty and the tire and then shift E Z axis. Now let's select on these four tires, these two tires and then it is in the Y axis. Now if you play the animation, it'll go nicely. Let's create the cubes. So shift A, mesh, and cube. Scale this cube down, and then GY. Now let's add the rigid body to this cube. Click on rigid body, and then set the type to active. Now let's add the bevel modifier to this cube as well. So select the ramp, 
then control L copy modifiers. DZ shift control to snap to grid. Let's duplicate this to so shift B in the Z axis and then shift R to copy the action we did last. Select these four cubes and then shift the Z. Now let's shift R to copy the action. Now let's play the animation. So now, let's add colors to it. So go to the sh viewport shading and click on this ramp. Go to material properties and click new. Now let's set the base color to ash and then set metallic to 100% and the roughness a bit more downwards. Now click on the car, have to go to edit mode, then select space. Now click on new and then new again. Now let's set the base color to a complete black and the roughness to zero. Now let's assign this to this face. Now, let's go to material 2 and then set the base color to blue. Now let's set the color of the tires. So click on one tire, click new and set the color to black. Click on the other tires and set the color of the tire we changed the color on. Now let's click on the cubes. And then change the color of them. So click on one cube and click new. Let's set the color to a gold. Now let's click on the other cubes and then assign the color to these. So control L. Link materials. Now let's set the color for the plane. So click on the plane, click new, and set the base color to black. Now let's set up the camera. So shift A, mesh, camera, and camera. Now let's go to camera view. Now go to a view you really like. For example, this view, and then control oh, zero. Snap the view of the camera. Got N. Go to view and camera the view. And then set a view. Now, let's go to viewport shading and let's add a light so shift A light and add an area light GZ to move this up then scale it in the Z axis and scale it in the Y axis now let's set the power to 1500 watts and set the color to a bit of a blue Now let's duplicate this light, so shift D and G 
then click on this spot, then move it to rotate it. Now, let's go to this, which is called Render Properties. Go to Color Management and set the look to very high contrast. Now this is our animation. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.